Hello everyone, this is Khaled and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can install Android uh, operating system on your Steam Deck beside the current operating system Steam OS. So uh, we know that Steam Deck is an amazing uh, device, I use it day, every day and it's like have a lot of potentials, uh, you can run your games on it, you can run some Windows operating system using, uh, I mean you can even run Windows on it, like if you can sideload Windows. Um, also, you can run um, applications uh, in Windows or using Proton on Steam OS, and we know that this amazing device has a lot of capabilities. And until now, people is trying to optimize as much as possible applications and a lot of use usage for this device. So one of the things that you can also do is you can uh, use uh, use it for installing or like having uh, Android operating system on this device. Uh, so we will be using something. Uh, called WayDroid. So this is um, uh, this is a container-based approach to boot a full Android system on a regular Linux system like Ubuntu. And we know that Steam Deck is using SteamOS, which is based on Linux. So uh, with that, you can add this container and you can run it as an application or a game inside, and you can have your Android application. So you might have some things like your IPTV or some. Uh, other Android applications that you can run. Uh, some applications, some games also can run on 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 uh, on the device, but it depends also on the memories and all that stuff. So I wouldn't stress it for uh, the the biggest the big apps and all that stuff for Android. But yes, some some simple apps or like some ABKs can be used on that. And for that, I will be using uh, something called SteamOS WayDroid Installer. This is from GitHub. This is by Ryan Rudo. Uh, El Foba, so uh, I hope that I spell it right. And with that, we can get up and running. Uh, in fact, I mean, in, in no time, uh, having the Android and the device. So uh, let's go back to the Steam Deck. And what we need to do now is exit and go to um, the desk, uh, switch to desktop. So from the power, we will use switch to desktop. And now the Steam OS should be loading so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect uh, through any desk I have any desk and application we can even use a connect your keyboard and mouse and you can uh, get up and running here so uh, what we need to do is go here and uh, inside uh, the start menu start typing console so we'll be having console this is a terminal tool uh, inside and I made this uh, like the steps or like I took it from the website there so we can use it by copying and pasting so basically we need to first navigate to the root of the device and then we need to execute this command this is like uh, making a git clone from this uh, repository so let's install let's run that so I have it already there so that's why it's mentioning that uh, already I have it but if you don't have it it will start doing the cloning stuff so let's navigate to this uh, drive so also we can copy that and paste it here and then we need to uh, run this command uh, for enabling the sh file it's like changing the ability to running it and then we can uh, run this basically this command which is steamos uh, steamos dash waydroid dash installer.sh so once we execute that it might ask for an admin password if you don't have an admin password you can create one uh, on your uh, at, like in your steam deck this this will be your root password that it might it, it should be used or it, it will be required to you to enter it so now it will be trying to uh, ask me for this password if i don't have the sudo password uh, i will be assigning one so let's say i will add my password here and then it's mentioned in sudo password is good and it will start uh, getting all this uh, install installation and start to uh, get it from the repo so depending on your internet connection and how fast is the uh, your internet connection it might take some time so as we can see here it's around one gigabyte or less than one gigabyte 868 megabit uh, megabyte so let's wait a bit until it will finish
and it's extracting this now it's extracting the uh, files so there is also one extra 181 megabyte and it's mentioned here um, wait droid initialization completed without errors so yeah it's uh, now it's trying to get this a directory is trying to check what's needed inside there I'm seeing some errors here which should not be the case but let's keep it for now and check what is the access would be from our end so now it's it seems that it's running everything so it's mentioned here that Waydroid have been successfully installed so once we finish here we can just type exit to exit console and then we can navigate back to the return to gaming mode and check from there so what we need to do is just like run the android Waydroid cage launcher so let's go back to the gaming mode now it's shutting down so let's switch to the gaming mode and we should be having this loading now so yeah please if you don't do it uh, if, you, if you didn't have it yet please leave a like subscribe and put on your notification and also share it with a friend if it's not so so I'm still waiting for it to initialize. It's taking a bit of time. So actually I'm recording this on the fly, so that's why I mean uh, live um, without cutting using OPS. So you may skip, a, skip ahead if you feel so. I'll try to put like some marks uh, when the gaming mode starts. So you can hear the gaming mode starts just like I will do some quick shifting so let's go back here and we will navigate up here we will go to library and then on the search bar on top we need to start searching for oh we can find it here up there even we don't without without searching so let's go back to um, to the search yeah and then go up and we have here android way droid so let's run this and this is what we need to run android way droid cage to the sh so give it a little bit time because it will be loading the container itself so um this is the booting up so the, the benefit here is not like replacing your full operating system so it's using lineage which is an open source uh, actually it can be installed on a lot of devices and good thing that they ported as a container here in, in android so uh, you can see here we have a full android uh, uh, device here as you can see so we can go uh, to the i believe google google play we can still we, we can uh, sign in uh, with our application and we can start installing the applications here so the potential of having um uh, Android uh, like applications here uh, is very cool once we need to finish we can go back and we can just like exit it, exit for exit game here as normally as we can exit uh, one thing that I can um, like uh, recommend because this will be recognized as a mouse uh, you can find your touch screens not as a touch it might be used as a mouse so my recommendation for the controller settings is that you can go to the controller settings you can use the default which is gamepad joystick and trackpad go to la edit layout and you can go to the trackpads what I what I prefer I prefer to make this uh, as a left mouse mouse click so I can come here this left mouse click I can come to the uh, the game bed I believe and I can assign it uh, yeah I leave it as a left mouse click and I can go down to the action sets so I already assigned that before that's why it's taking that 
as native what I need to, what you need to do is just like you need to add an action set and once you add an action uh, add an action set you need to go to the gear icon for the action set uh, you need to choose it as an always on so you go down add an action set you can add an action set here let's go back you can name it and you can hear the um, get it from here where it is uh, and once you added you add an always on command so what you need to do is not an action set sorry so you need to come to the default you need to come on the gear icon here press on it and go to add always on command so it will add the add always on command and what you need to do is to go to the gear icon and then you need to oh, not the gear icon just like go back here you can press on it and then you can navigate to the system and then you need to choose touch screen native support so this will enable touch screen native support to remove the mouse and it will be add an all and add always command so it will be always available so you can even uh, utilize multi uh, multi touch benefits from here so this is my recommendation if you want to adjust because if you didn't do that it will take uh, your touch input as a mouse so it will be simulating this as a mouse so yeah this is uh, basically uh, android uh, on the go so you can have uh, android here up and running you can see here it's full android so one thing also to note that it will not take the wi-fi thing but it will still have an internet connectivity because it's using like uh, the shared uh, communication between the android layer uh, with the uh, it's, it's a container so it's taking the, the, the internet from the main operating system here so you don't have this functionalities of the uh, wi-fi and some some stuff like if you can uh, change the landscape view or like portrait or landscape or stuff like that so it's not affecting but you have a full experience tablet so you can download your application or even your abks you can pour them through like some applications you can uh, get it from there and yeah uh, with that uh, you will have uh, like android beside uh, steam os which is very very uh, an awesome addition to the steam deck and open up a lot of uh, new potentials for this amazing device okay so that's it for my video um, i hope uh, it was beneficial for you guys and if so please uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and I, I will see you guys and also share to the friend and I see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.